got to go to Flagstaff, and oh, I can't wait to see what you're going to show us. But first, we're going live to Snowball, where look at this. Yes, we is, already have snow on the ground. It's happening. It is happening. We're going to be skiing before we know it. So Snowball, they do make their own snow. Yep. And they're supposed to open November 22nd, which is only a few weeks away. That really is a few weeks away. Yeah. So let's go ahead and get prepared to hit the slopes. <laughs> but Flagstaff is one of my favorite cities. You know, since I've been in Arizona, Flagstaff has been a staple for me. It's mm -hmm. beautiful. It's so much greenery. Yeah. And so getting the opportunity to go to Flagstaff and learn a little bit more about this amazing city and definitely Lowell Observatory. It's a place that you definitely should check out. Even if you don't like science, I promise you, once you get there, you're going to learn a lot about just astronomy, life itself. And it's so cool to learn about what's in the beyond. Beautiful people, Lowell Observatory Research and Outreach Campus is expanding with this state-of-the-art building I'm standing in right now in Flagstaff, Arizona, the Astronomy Discovery Center. This is a place you'll be able to learn, discover, explore. This is where worlds are revealed. I am here with Mr. Kevin Schindler, the Historian and Public Information Officer for Lowell Observatory. Mr. Kevin, thank you so much for having me out today. Hey, it's great to have you here. Kevin, I gotta ask you, did we get on a spaceship and travel somewhere? Where are we? We did, we're in the middle of heaven in Flagstaff. This is a, a very unique place. This is the new Marley Foundation Astronomy Discovery Center at Lowell Observatory. And this room that we're in, it, it is incredible. Yeah, this is the Lowell Universe Theater and behind us, is a screen that goes 15 feet high and you can see how far it spreads around the wall and there's another screen on top so this really gives us super sized images i'm here with miss oakley she's the film director of the opening show that'll be taking place here at lowell observatory and the film is called imagine the universe that's right that is so beautiful thank you so much for talking to me about this show thank you yeah it's really exciting it's a uh, the story is about an aspiring astronomer who puts on an AI-powered imagination mining headset and malfunctions, and then we go as an entire audience on a zany and uh, entertaining adventure, time-traveling adventure through space and time. What was the inspiration for Lowell to build the Astronomy Discovery Center? Around 2015, our attendance was just skyrocketing, and so we decided if we're going to keep doing a quality presentation and programming for people, let's expand. Everything we do, we think about how does this meet our mission? to communicate science. We want to do it in the best way possible. And there's nothing like this in the world. The state-of-the-art facility, oh, by the way, it could be a standalone facility, but we have the phenomenal Lowell Observatory where Pluto is discovered, where astronomers are still making incredible uh, research projects, where our astronomers are doing incredible research even today. Because astrotourism is a rapidly expanding motivator for tourists, and Flagstaff is one of these leading places with Lowell Observatory and Meteor Crater and the dark skies of Flagstaff. And so this just fits in naturally here. I've worked here for 29 years and I get that feeling every day. Um, this is a place that's for people of all ages and it's so immersive. Whether it's in this hall with this screen 25 feet tall or you're looking through this telescope that's more than 100 years old, seeing Saturn for the first time. This, this is like the rest of Lowell Observatory. It's a feeling you get. It's not just looking at something. It's not hearing something. It's a feel you get. Astronomy is for everybody. It's for people of all ages, of all backgrounds, of all races. There's nothing like it in the world. It's so easy to learn more about Lowell. Just go to our website, lowell.edu. That's a good place to start. Come up to Flagstaff, down in the Flagstaff Visitor Center. They have all sorts of information. Or just drive up the hill. Okay, wow. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. It is so cool. It's like when you went, it was my first time actually going to Lowell since I've been in Arizona, but once you start going up, uh -huh. it like it transforms like you're going into a different world uh -huh. and you just start smiling. Yeah, Because the guess. view as you make your way up, it's uh -huh. like, wow, this is going to be so cool. And then you get to the top and you get to really explore what they're doing up there. And it's just so cool. You know, as long as I've been in Arizona, I'm ashamed to admit that I've never been up to Lowell. So it's never too late. Yeah. And I can't, you know, I, now I really can't wait to get up there. The shows, are they running throughout the whole day or how does um, that work? That you're going to 
go on the website. I don't okay. know how, because these are brand new shows that are starting oh, there. Cool. And yeah. so this experience is so immersive because you're going to yeah. see things on the screen, but you're also going to have live actors walking about oh. throughout the auditorium. So you're going to get a true experience when yeah. you go to one of these shows. Definitely check their website. They'll have all the show times that yeah. you can go and see it. But and it's it, almost like an IMAX, it right? Is. Yeah. It is. It, it's impressive when you walk in that room. Cool. It's so cool. Thank you for taking this along. Always. Really appreciate the time.